All right, guys, coming from a remote location. Of course, I have a different background here, but uh, big thanks to my gracious host, Detroit Spartan, and his wife for putting me up and letting me check out some very cool watches. So this one is the Oris Fratello Limited Edition. There was only 300 of these made, 250 being sold directly from Fratella, and another 50 distributed throughout the Oris uh, ADs. So super rare, especially when it comes to an Oris brand, you know, as large as they are, only 300 of them, that's, that's pretty rare. So big crown pointer date here, you're looking at a 40 millimeter case, 48 lug to lug, obviously bronze, 12.25 thick, but that's including that boxed and domed sapphire crystal, 20 millimeter lug width in the strap, tapers down to a wonderful 16 millimeter matching bronze hardware. This kit also came with a gray colored NATO with uh, bronze hardware as well. Check out the red underbelly of this strap too. Really ties in with the red ox blood or crimson red, or whatever you want to call it there, of the dial. And we'll do a close up of that in a second. Seven and a half millimeter screw down crown. Even though it's a screw down crown, this thing is 50 meter water resist. So still plenty good enough for everyday wear. Uh, we're using the Aura 754 automatic movement in here, which is hacking, hand winding. It's a Salida SW200 that they've modified into a pointer date. Instead of, you know, having a date exposed at like a three or six o'clock position, you do have a pointer date on this. So that's really cool. 38 hour power reserve. These new were like 2300 ish, 2300 US dollars. And when you look at the price of the bronze non-limited edition at 2100 I think you're getting a heck of a lot more watch for only $200 more, plus the limited edition. You guys know I love limited edition ones. These came out in, I think, December of 2020, and they were inspired by a release that Oris did with a stainless steel case version of this with the... Uh, the same color dial, but there was some big differences on the dial. So, and then um, I forget the guy's name, but he actually had, he picked up that and then swapped over the dial, had a watchmaker swap over the dial into the bronze case. Loved what they, uh, the finished product of that. So they ended up working with Oris to produce this. So if we zoom in on this, the big differences on this dial here, and I'll drop in some uh, stills towards the end of the video there, because I don't, I'm not in my studio, so I'll drop in like a loom shot and I'll drop in some close-ups. But you can see the uh, minute track going all the way around there is like gold colored, almost like gold flake like. You can kind of see it in some spots. You'll see it when I drop in the close-ups. And so that's different as is the Oris, the Big Crown and the Anti-Shock is all done in that color as well. Uh, Anti-Shock is actually added in there ex instead of automatic which I kind of like that it doesn't have the automatic and it says anti-shock instead, that's pretty fun. So beautiful gold handset, gold colored handset or gilt, whatever you want to call it. And I love the pointer date option. You just don't see that very often. I love that Oris is still running that. Here's a look at the case back, still has the sticker on the back. This is number 205 of only 300. So great limited edition. There's the some other information on there if you were interested in that. But let's. Zoom back out with the wrist. So you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. There it is. And the bronze is holding up. Actually, uh, Detroit Spartan, I don't think has ever really worn this. So there's really the mild patina that is on the case right now is just from being in the atmosphere. It's not from wearing or anything like that. If you were to wear it more, I'm sure it would patina up a little bit. So if that's your thing, if not, then you can always clean it up. It's not a big deal. So this thing's still in perfect shape. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next vid.